Hey y'all, Dickabot here and welcome back to Control AWE. Last time we entered the Eagle Limited AWE section and had us another run in with Ol Hartman. Actually it wasn't that bad of a run in this time around, he didn't seem too interested in playing with us. I mean we had a giant train car, there was plenty of light around, so we were all good. Speaking of train car, this thing's apparently an altered item, so definitely gonna have to take a look at that. Let's see how this thing goes. So you're an altered item, eh? All aboard. All aboard. Oh. Connect with the train. Nani? Okay, that's probably the exit. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Okay. Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right Ooh. on in. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Is this all the various uses this train has been put through? Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Fire. Ooh, that's bad. Well, that's a really bad sound. Man. Yeah, I don't like that one. Oh, I really don't like that one. Ooh. train sounds like it murdered a lot of people. I mean, I know this is probably the train that the pair of criminals were using. Hmm. Okay. So what's up? It says connect with the train AWE. Uh, did I miss an item? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the I think I have to interact with these in the right order. Please have your tickets ready. <sighs> okay, I think I got it. So briefcase first. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. That's the and guy boarding. Aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Then obviously Next the conductor stops, asking Alton, for Carlinville, tickets. Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. Good evening, all then we get the jazz singer for the evening. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Yep. Then obviously he mentions dinner, so we have dinner. Then things start going horribly wrong with the fire. And then lastly, the crash. Yeah, I think this is the order that I'm supposed to be doing this in, right? This is the order you want, isn't it? Nice. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a ticket? <laughs> no. No, I don't have a ticket. Dead in its tracks. It's a pretty dark ride, huh? Yep. But I hope you're done replaying it now. Aww. Anyway, uh, I did get some new documents there, didn't I? Yep, case files. Train car procedures. The item's altered effect can be avoided by simply not entering it. Proper signage and barriers should provide sufficient containment. The item is currently held in the investigations sector's AWE West Hangar for ongoing investigations. Uh, the item's exterior is that of a standard CZ-10 Vista Dome train car, the largest known altered item on record. Its interior seems to be an adjacent reality related to a trauma or memory belonging to a bleh and not the physical item's own history. Causation for this link is still to be determined, but possibilities include the outside interference possibly responsible for the item's altered state or trauma in printing via shared memory states. The item was discovered when the Bureau responded to a suspected crime scene in Bloomington, Illinois. 
the item was identified as an altered item and transported to the Bureau for examination and testing. See AWE 44 for further details. Yeah, this is the one that was created by the criminals. Hmm. Wild. Anyway, there's bound to be a lot of stuff in here to explore and look around and see now that I'm, you know, a little bit more footloose and fancy free. Oh, shifted passage. Oh, not where I want to be. Not at all. I want to stay in this area. I got too much to explore, too many things to see. Now that the lights are on and I can actually figure out what the heck's going on. Oh. Ooh. Was that you, good sir? Excuse me. You're making a lot of unpleasant noises there. I don't want to take that with me. But I can't, unfortunately. It's not considered a valid movable light source. Despite my evidence to the contrary, that I say it is. Slowly work my way back here, trying to find if there's anything worth looking at in this place. So far, nothing. And nothing is rather disappointing. I mean, seriously, there's no documents or anything in this big ass area? <sighs> really thinks, you know, big room like this would have more to look at. But no. But no. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Ah, this must go up to the office room that's up here. Yep. Okay, there should definitely be something in here worth looking at. Keep hearing these damn noises. There's a chest in here, but, uh, I was looking for something to, you know, read or listen to. Like this. What do we got? Eagle Limited Supplement. The Bureau has gathered concrete evidence that the train derailment was in fact the work of the paracriminal group known as Bleh, which is their actual name which, according to the Bureau's intel, has showed a concerning interest in experimenting with the artificial manufacturing of altered materials. Knowing the group largely operates in the American Midwest, the Bureau worked alongside the FBI to ascertain their movements and rendezvous locations. This cooperation provided agents with information that led to an arrest in conjunction with the AWE case. Under suspicion of involvement, Bleh, was brought in for questioning. An interrogation performed by Agent Bleh, resulted in the suspect being kept in a holding cell for two days without food. Ugh. In breach of the Paracriminal Rights Act. You made a Paracriminal Rights Act? Wow. Afterwards, the suspect confessed to his involvement in the bleh group and provided information on other members in exchange for his freedom. I'm still kind of blown away by the fact that you made a Paracriminal's Rights Act. Like, that's honestly kind of impressive. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I want this light, because that's the way this area has been from the get-go, is I need light. Hmm, actually, is this the right area for this? Because I know I need to eliminate the darkness in two spots. Uh, yeah, this is the right spot. There are blobs of darkness in here somewhere, and I swear I've been hearing them off and on. Don't know where I'll find them all. Probably hidden in frickin' corners somewhere. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Alright, so there's two more in here, just like I thought. Trick is just finding the little bastards. Oh, I think I see one. I just gotta get up to it. I gotta take a few of these ups here. <laughs> Yep. There's one of the little bastards up there. Oh, fuck. 
Ugh, great. Well, I threw my light, so now I just gotta get up there myself. <laughs> I'm half surprised this didn't catch it. Oh, there's an extra light up here as well. Alright, well that's two of the damn things. Now, where's the third one? Maybe it's further up. Oh, it is. <laughs> there was more up here than I thought there was going to be. Burn, you bastard! God, no wonder I couldn't find any of these. They were way the hell up here. Is this, uh, is, is this as up as I can get successfully? I think so. All right, we got our little side quest done. We can finally go after Hartman. Of course, the son of a bitch is long gone by now, because, you know, I have, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ain't playing with one of those. No, sir. Huh. <sighs> Shaded specimen captured. An alert from the bleh, Washington Monitoring Station indicated minor bleh, activity occurring in the area. Agent Estevez was dispatched to investigate. Inside the bleh, lodge, she discovered the facility's former owner, Dr. Emil Hartman. He had been converted into a shaded individual, per definitions found in File 634-1923, and displayed violent behavior characteristic of his type. Ah, so that's what they're calling the Taken, is a shaded individual. Agent Estevez alerted the on-site research team to the specimen's presence and, with some difficulty, it was successfully contained in a black rock cell. The cell and its inhabitant were transported safely back to HQ, where the specimen remains detained in the bleh sector as part of the bleh AWE investigation. Once the investigation is closed, research teams have petitioned to relocate the specimen to their sector for study. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all saw how well that worked out. No, he got loose. He got loose on you guys. Yeah, ain't going down there. Ain't going down there and playing with that. No siree. Oh, I see. Gives me a bit of a little loop around. Come on. Grab the loot and go, Jesse girl. Hmm? <laughs> oh, oh! Thank you, dude. Thank you for pointing that out. The fact that that hanging portrait is a hint that this is a breakable wall. Oh my god! I cannot believe I missed that. Now, of course, there was a breakable wall in here. Therefore, there should be something of value. Employee misdemeanor. This isn't something of value, is it? Agent Samuel Turnbull committed a misdemeanor while performing his duties as supervising agent of Project Bleh, designed to help undercover agents reassimilate to office duties. The incident began when Agent Turnbull refused one of the operatives' entry into the oldest house, claiming that they had been compromised. The situation escalated as Agent Turnbull attempted to force a confession out of the bastard. The injuries inflicted upon the victim required a trip to the medical wing. Agent Turnbull denied any guilt maintaining that the victim was some sort of pod person and that he, unlike his colleagues, could see their true intentions, to use the Bureau's connections to climb the ranks of government and eventually into the Oval Office. <laughs> he done lost his damn mind! Uh, action taken. Despite breaching Bureau Offense Code 45, Agent Turnbull was given leave of absence with, with full pay due to his sterling record. He will be required to undergo a psychological evaluation upon his return, which he probably failed. <laughs> uh... Nani? Oh... Oh, I didn't even realize... Oh my goodness, going up? Where the feck am I? Shifted pass. Oh, this is just part of the shifted passage. Okay. Uh, whoops. Might have made my life a little more difficult than it needed to be, Jer. <laughs> this place is crazy. 
Hello. <laughs> Anything good on the radio? Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love that song. Can't listen to it too long, however. Causes problems. Uh, I guess just the chest was in here. Huh. Wow, this whole place has gone topsy-turvy on us. <laughs> All right, let's get through here. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, Jesse. Uh, but thanks again for that, uh, handy little tip about the pictures. I would have probably walked right by that if you hadn't told me. Hello? Seized reload efficiency. <laughs> Some weird mods in this expansion. I don't know, I'm kind of happy with the ones I've got on right now, unless I get some really good ones. Um... Sure. We'll go this way. I'll take this. Motel complaint. Dead letter? No. <laughs> hey, Stu. Did you hear about Fisher? Got himself in trouble in the motel. Why the hell does anyone volunteer to stake out that place? Gives me the creeps. But hey, at least he came back, if you can call it that. I saw some of the footage they pulled out of there with him. Tom Down and evidence processing showed me. Crazy stuff. Fisher had the cameras pointed at himself half the time. I'm guessing he went nuts on day one. He did catch something, though. Got one of those fiber optic cameras under the door of the room he was hiding in and recorded something out in the hall. Looked like a shadow. Maybe human. Tom tried to get the quality up, but it's still blurry as fuck. Just reaffirms my position. Stay the fuck out of the motel. Anyway, up for some shoe later? Lisa got up to an hour and 38 minutes yesterday. New record to beat. See ya, Dave. <laughs> an hour and 38 minutes? Holy cow. Is the deadline just survive as long as possible? Because uh, that's a hell of a long survival time. If that's the case. Of course, they probably didn't have the hiss to contend with. <sighs> Thank you. Anything back here? Nope. I'm kind of paranoid now about walls. AWE Transit Bay. It looks like we're headed back the way we came. This whole area is a big old loop around. Oh, is this another darkness zone? Yep. Oh. And the door's been hissed. Yep. Darkness. Need to get the light. Kiss nodes. Not really fond of this. I don't like hiss nodes. I don't trust these things one little bit. All right, I think that gave me a wee bit of light. Not much, but enough. Oh, hi. Need a power core. Hey, stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Thank you. See, isn't things so much better now? We need a lot of power cores. Oh. Great. Oh, hi. Aha! One power core! So that's how this room works. Fuck off, Hartman! Fuck off! Oh, fuck, I'm gonna die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm seeing how this room works now. Each one of these is a power core, and each one must be guarded by hiss nodes somewhere on it, right? Right? Why are there no hiss nodes on this one? Hmm. Weird. Anywho. 
All right, gotta clear all the hiss nodes off of this thing. Get the power core and haul ass so old Hartman doesn't give me a heartache. All right, this will be two power cores. Two down, two to go, and every course every time I get one of these, you guys get on my case. Yeah, let's stay in the light. I can't reach that one from here. Come on. Thank you. Oh, there's a lot of these things. Is that it? No, I want the power core. I don't want to throw anything at it. All right. There's three. Now, this last one's going to be the most dangerous because I'm running out of light sources here. Oh, my God. Fuck off, Hartman. Ah! Oh, God, I'm going to die. Yep. Knew it. And, of course, I've got to redo the whole bloody room. All right. At least I know how to do the bloody room now. All right. Come on, darkness. Where, where's the first set of nodes? There we go. There's the room. All right. Pop these ones first. Wait for the old ammo bar to recharge. This guy in the nose for good measure. Oh, hi. Yeah, I don't think you'll distract Hartman for long, but it's nice to have some semblance of a distraction. No, give me the power core. Thank you. All right, there's one. Uh, let's do this airborne just because I don't trust the, uh, good doctor there to not be a pain in my ass. Wow! Got a twofer there. Thanks, Dad! Uh, nope, there's still at least one more of those fucking things. No? Good night. Where's the last one? Yeah, I can't see it from here probably, right? Yep, there it is. Way up there. Alright. That's the second one. Fly, Jesse, fly. Stay away from old Hartman. Alright. That's two down, two to go. Dong! Shit. <laughs> yeah, that works too. Alright, run out of lights again. This is where it starts to get hairy on me. Only one left. one. Stupid red haze here, I can't really tell. Thank you. Alright, let the old energy bar recharge. Alright, Jesse, we are officially in deep shit. Yep, son of a bitch. And now it's time for the last one again. It always seems to be this one that's giving me the most trouble. Come on, come on, come on. The sequence isn't bad. It's just I got blindsided by Hartman the last time. All right, where's the last one? Always lose the last one, there it is. Thank you. 
Go. Whew. Okay. Where's the switch? Nice. Ah, oh, so much better than last time. All right, burn, you sucker! Burn! Burn! Oh, son of a... Yeah. Well, that deals with him in this sector, at least. <sighs> well, that was a fun little fight. Kind of annoying, but hey. Cool. Cute mechanic. Give him that, at least. Uh... I was gonna say, was there anything of value in here? Lore or loot, and I suppose... I could take me some loot. And a shortcut back. Yep. This takes me right back to the old zone. <laughs> Active investigations, yep. Back the way we came. Oh my god. Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me You're still talking, crazy Langston? For wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand Ugh. the altered items like And he's items. looping too. This is the exact same conversation from earlier. Very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't want to brag. Yeah, I know. We've already heard this right. all before, dude. Knock it off. You're getting kind of annoying. Huh. <sighs> Yeah. You know what? Anywho. Who it is. So anyway, like shut I up! Before, still, I don't know why people... Oh my god, know. shut up. God dang, Langston, you're annoying. Anywho, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite, and subscribe to join me as I work my way through the Favmuro AWE area, and then possibly into the Bright Falls area. But until then, see you guys in the next video.